Hi, right. I'm going to try to do this and try to show you how this sucker works. Now notice on this bender, it's marked 10 degrees, 22, 30, 45, and 60, 90. 60, actually. 90 is back here. Anyway, so this one has marks, but you're going to make an arbitrary mark anyway along to see this little star. That's for a back-to-back -back bend. This little notch is the center of, usually I use it for a center for a box offset bend. This little notch, that's the center of the bend. So what we do, let me get the pencil over here. Now I'm going to go to, let's just for the help, we'll go to 22 degrees. That's pretty close to 22 degrees. Now the center of this bend, if you look at this bender, that radius is probably right about there which puts it about there on the bender. Now every brand of pipe and every bender is going to bend different and never going to be the same. Okay, we have that mark. That's the mark on the pipe. Now, lay it on the, on the table. <clears throat> this pipe goes against this one. Okay, say you want a two inch Two inch offset. We we'll two inch to the other side of the pipe. So we'll go two inches. There's the center, right about there. That's the center of the bend. We don't care about the degrees. It don't matter. It don't make any difference. Now we put this. It's a little close, but it'll still work. Okay. There's your pencil mark. Center of the bend. Line it up so we don't get a dog in it. I'm gonna make it more. That's getting too tight. Too close to it. Let's get, move it out a little bit. We'll go three. Okay, there's your three inch. Against the pipe, three inches is here. Enter the bend. Now we go in the bender. It has to be on this side. Okay. Center of the bend. Which mark you like? What are you lining it up with there, Nick? The uh, notch or this the uh... one here? This no, I put a little pencil mark here. I guesstimated the center of the bend there. See, that's pretty close to the center. Right. So, you cover the three-inch knot offset. So yeah. So I put the pencil mark there. Then I mark three inches to the center of the pipe. Right. Put another mark on it. Oh, okay. Then you line it up. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Let's see where we end up. Okay. You got to hold it. Uh... Facing the camera. I'm an eighth over. That's a three inch bend the way I do it. Now it's only because I haven't used this bender before. But there you go. There's your bend. And of course, if you're trying to get it dead nuts, then you can always put it back in, take a little bit of it out. There you go. It's going to take practice, but that's what you'll end up with. So just remember, whatever degrees these things are right means nothing. You don't even need to look at that. As long as you go from the center of the bend to the center of the bend, you're doing the same thing as 1.41 or two times. Remember, measure against the straight place to the center of the pipe. And like I said, every piece of pipe from a different bundle is going to probably bend a little bit different, and so I want the bender you use. I used to put tape on my favorite benders. Be careful of these benders. This will throw you off if they have this handle. That will throw you off, so you're going to probably want to use a regular piece of pipe. You see how this is bigger? Well, of course, you put this against here. It's not going to be touching here, so you'll get a crooked measurement. We can use something like that. And there you go. Three inches. Got it. And I'll, I'll do one, I'll do a, uh, a saddle on another day. If I got it, it doesn't even have a dog leg in it. Great. Oh, nice. All right. See you, right?